in Connecticut. What's up, guys? Um, it's interesting. I will say, this is my second Dollar Tree. I left my phone in the car at the last one. I did find some wishlist items that I have been searching for. Um, just two, I think. Um, I'm in my second Dollar Tree, and I will say the Dollar Trees in Connecticut are much cleaner than in New York. Um, I'm going to show you. They have the Pure Ice Nail Polishes, some different colors, so I'm going to give you... Spin you around so you can see that and not be looking at my face. Okay, this black sparkly one is nice with this like goldish chrome. They also have um, that like um, limited edition like a mint green and that looks like a black. I really can't tell. Again, another green that would be nice for Christmas and this would be nice for spring. Another limited edition that would be nice for Christmas. And I don't know, I'm not just really into purple, so let's see if they have. Bottom line base coat, high shine. Yeah. So different ones have different colors. That looks like a bluish, and that green is pretty. Yeah, different ones have different colors, guys. They have the Christmas um, kitchen towels and placemats. They have the red truck pot holders, and it says dashing through the snow. And they also have um, the gloves. fingertip towel. Never seen these before. I don't know what a fingertip towel is, but here's the red truck if you wanted to decorate the bathroom. I guess you would put this in the bathroom. I don't know. I haven't seen these before. Right now I'm going to pass on it, but I'm just sharing with you guys what they have in the store. Yeah, it seems like in most of the stores they're setting up a frozen end cap with all their frozen merchandise. So now is the time if you have that daughter, granddaughter, or you know, goddaughter, whoever, that's into Disney Frozen, now's the time to come because it's not gonna last. This is really cute. I think this is a car spray. So I have not seen this in New York, but I have seen people talking about it on Instagram. Instagram. This is the new car scent, okay last up to it's 65 sprays okay so this would be great especially if you're doing that car basket idea this would be great I'm not really a lavender person um, new car scent oh it's scratch and sniff so you could test it out I don't like eh, the new car scent is okay The lavender vanilla is better. These candle holders, they're metal and they're new. They're beautiful. I have never seen these at Dollar Tree in New York. I haven't even seen anybody with these on Instagram. This green, I wish it was a little bit darker, but it is pretty. And you put your candles there. Wow, these are pretty. I don't know. I don't know. Hi guys. I'm back. Back home. Got home last night. Um, I had a great weekend. <clears throat> it's always nice to go somewhere. I really, uh, I could go somewhere every week. But, you know, as, as nice as it is to get away, it's also nice to come home. So, whatever. It's got to face life life you can't you know stay in a hotel and eat out every day and you know we got to work pay bills so what I want to show you guys is what I got from the Dollar Trees in Connecticut like I said in the in store I only went to two there were three Dollar Trees in the immediate area the location we stayed in downtown New London was near everything 
the mall was right down the street, um, Dollar Trees, restaurants, and we found some nice restaurants, and um, my husband says, you always say you could move here. I could live in Connecticut. It was pretty cool, <clears throat> but I don't know if staying there in a hotel is different from living there every day. What I will say is in New York, in Suffolk County, where I live, they charge five cents if you don't have those reusable bags. In Connecticut, they charge 10 cents. So I don't know if the taxes are high in Connecticut or what is going on in Connecticut. But <clears throat> it really, to be so close to New York, it felt like you were so far away. I don't know. And where we were, were by the water. There's a beach nearby. The ferry, as soon as you drive out of the ferry parking lot, I swear, you're not even driving a minute. You're not even driving... A half a minute if you catch the light the hotel was right there it just was a perfect location it was further from the concert it was 11 over 11 miles from Foxwoods but still a 20 minute drive the only thing is very dark there's a lot of trees it feels like you're in the country and you know that drive I wouldn't feel too comfortable doing that drive at night by myself you know, if, if I wanted to go to the casino or something like that. But anyway, shut up, Erica. Get into it. So I told you guys I'm making Chunk a big Christmas basket from Dollar Tree items, okay? Um, I've invested money in more expensive toys, and they get broken. They get thrown out. They get given away. I'm not doing that. He's not hard to please. He can be entertained by almost anything. So, Dollar Tree has really stepped up their game with certain items. So, I'm putting together. And they have these stackable um, totes. I think I'm going to do the three levels and put something in each level. And wrap that baby up and that's Merry Christmas. I will spend the money on things he needs. He needs a whole new winter wardrobe. He needs shoes. He's going to need boots, hats sweatpants, sweatshirts. He's going to need that kind of stuff. So I'd rather invest in things that he needs than something that's going to get broken and thrown out. Um, I found at the register, and he would have to be monitored with this. I found, that's my son, these uh, three pack of Mickey Mouse, um, he loves Mickey Mouse, uh, crowns. Okay, this is something that probably will stay at my house um, or give it to the parents. Let him write on their walls. But he would have to be supervised because he did write on the walls when he lived with me <laughs> um, in the basement apartment. But um, I got that. And I didn't get any color books, but they always have them, so I'll get some color books. But what I thought was really cute is this. This comes with over 90 tattoos. He would love this. I could do this with him. Give him a Mickey Mouse tattoo. I thought that was cute. As always, whenever I'm in Dollar Tree, I get him socks. These are, like I said, you could sleep on them if you want to. I've even seen socks at other stores, more expensive stores, and I feel that they it's the same quality. I have Dollar Tree socks that I've had for years, okay? If you wash them, you know, they last. I did get these for the mister, these milk and cookies, and they have... Somebody said they have them for the women's milk and cookie socks. I'm going to find them so we can have matching socks. I know cheesy, but whatever. I did find some real pure ice nail polish. And what I'm going to do with this nail polish is I'm going to break it up. Meaning I'm going to take it out of the packages. And I'm making my sister a basket for Christmas. So some I will keep for myself. And she does her own nails. And some I will give to her. This is like a cosmic gold. I thought that would be fun. And this is like a glitter, but it has blue. It looks like it has black or whatever like that. And this is a base coat and another top. Another high shine top coat. Now, the base coat I'm going to give to my sister. I have a package of the, the top shine coat to give her. Okay. Um, I did find this. And I thought I bought two of these. I thought I bought two of these, and I hope I did. This is the Ultimate Skincare System Facial Cleaner. 
Um, in the basket I'm making for my sister, I wanted to give her one and keep one for myself because, you know, I got that brush. And I did try that brush, that battery-operated facial cleaning brush, and I could see where that lady said it is kind of rough on the skin. But I personally like that. But if you have sensitive skin, like she said, she wouldn't use it around her eyes. I mean, it's kind of rough. But it does get the makeup, and it does clean, you know, clean very well. So I want to... I hope I have another one. I thought I bought two of these guys. I wanted to put this in the um, basket. And if you look them up online, much more than a dollar, okay? I did get one of the Armor Oil Essential Blends with vanilla and lavender scent. It's an air freshener pump spray. Lasts up to 65 sprays. I only got one. They have the scratch and sniff doesn't smell bad okay if you just want to spray your car and I might regret this I did find and they had so much more I love this candle these candles were originally from family dollar this is pumpkin spice I lit it I have it on my kitchen island and it just the whole area was smelling so nice and I only got one more if you find these, get them. And if you're going to someone's house for Thanksgiving and, you know, you just want to bring a little something, bring it. It This is a nice house gift. Or, you know, when you go into somebody's house, you don't want to go empty-handed. You know, you want to give them a little something. Oh, smells so good. And I finally was able to find the Cooking Concepts Bamboo Cutting Boards. Well, let me tell you something. The camera can be so freaking deceiving. I thought these were bigger, but I still bought two of them, okay? Because if this is really a bamboo, this is really good. And you can't, to my opinion, I like having different cutting boards because some you want to cut meat on, some you want to just cut veggies on. I thought it was bigger, guys, okay? When I see this on Instagram, when I see people hauling them, this looks so much bigger. But I finally found them, and this is something that has been on my wish list. I can never say this. Wish list. My hunt list, okay? You get the point. For a very, very long time. I never thought I would find it. So I got two of them, okay? And inside the mall, there was this store called, I think, Dollar and More. Well, I went in there. Because when we first got there, my husband wanted to go to the mall to look for some sneakers or whatever. And uh, he wasn't trying to hear nothing about Dollar Tree. So I went in there. And <sighs> listen, they have other dollar stores on Long Island besides Dollar Tree. Okay? And before Dollar Tree existed, I'm not going to lie, I went to those stores. But for some reason, these stores skeeve me out. I don't know why. I just feel like the stuff is expired. I don't feel like the stuff is clean. And trust me, I have been in some down, low, and dirty Dollar Trees. I got one five minutes from my house that you just, is just nasty. They need to call in all the help they can get and get the store together it wasn't always like that but some are just down low and nasty and i just i don't know if that's the workers they just don't give a damn i don't know what, what it is but still they don't skeeve me out like these 99 cent stores so i went in the store i forgot my lotion my large bottle lotion trust me i always have you know lotion in my pocketbook but you know not my body lotion that i use right so i seen a smaller version of it so when I seen the, the, I think the sign says, I showed you guys just now. I don't know if it says dollar and more or whatever. So I thought it was some of those 99 cent stores, the base price is 99 cents. And then the price can go up to $5, $3, whatever. So I thought that's what it was. First of all, the man was nasty. Because when I got to the register, I said, how much are these things? He said, I got signs everywhere. It's a dollar nine. I said, okay, I'm from New York. I didn't know. I didn't, I wasn't looking for signs, whatever. Well, the lotion it was a nice size bottle of the Vaseline, intensive Vaseline lotion that I use at home. And I paid f over $5 for that lotion. So when he said only a dollar nine, I was like, oh, okay, great. This is a good deal. Well, the lotion, when I got back to the hotel, 
I didn't know lotion had an expiration date. The lotion expired damn near last year sometime. So, really, I should call his smart mouth self and say, stop selling expired lotion. But I don't even, I'm not even going to bother. But that's why I don't like those 99 cent stores because they just skeeps me. I just feel like the stuff is just, I don't know. I don't know. And I don't feel that way about Dollar Tree. But something else I got, and I didn't even try it yet, was this LED desk lamp. Okay, it came in different colors. It takes three AAA batteries. Um, you put the batteries on the bottom. And why I wanted this was just to see if this will give me extra light where I do my makeup because it's kind of dim in my bedroom. Um, you know, I have the bedroom closet to myself and inside the closet I have my glam cart. So if you ever watch me get ready, I'm sitting and I have my mirror on my nightstand and you see me reach into my clock, my glam cart. It's like a three tier, it's huge, cart that my husband had got me for Christmas. And it has all my makeup in there. And um, it's just an easy way for me to do my makeup, but it's dim and the lighting is not the best. So I got this just to add lighting to that area. That's why I got it, but I'll see if it even works. I don't know, I hope it doesn't blow up on me. Um, but that was my Connecticut Dollar Tree experience this time. I have been to, um, two other Connecticut's. One of the Dollar Trees I went into, I have been in before. Um, they were just so nice and neat and clean. They didn't put all of their Christmas stuff out, but they had it in boxes ready to go. And normally I'm a box raider, you know, but, um, being I'm in another state, I don't know their laws. You know, I didn't want y'all to see the Dollar Tree queen on the local news or whatever, you know, for going in a box. So, um, what I'm going to do today, well, I need to clean today. I need to do laundry today, but that's, you know, I got two more days before I go back to work. Um, I'm not worried about that right now. I'm on the hunt for a certain few things at Dollar Tree. Um, so I'm going to hit up some New York Dollar Trees right now, and then I'll come back and worry about laundry and everything else. But, um, I had a good time guys. I'm back. I'll talk to you later. Have a good day.